habitat for animals. What type of animals can you achieve? Come on, you know this, I know. Yes. Fish, very good. Um, I want you to pretend that you are water pollution coming. Okay, and I want you to pull out that can that says water. Because you're taking the clean water and making it dirty now. Let's see what happens to the system. Just pull out water. Don't be scared. What's happening? It's all right, Isaac. Leave it. It's okay. What happened? It falls down. Is that system still good? No. No. The thing that has brought us here today is to learn about the importance of our wetlands and why we need to conserve them. Next. See this prawn? Pass it around, check it out. Do you agree with me that I could have made a mat like this out of a plant like that? That's part of the variety of life we get in wetland. Harvest this stuff, it will grow again, and we can make something like mats or baskets, which is really cool. <laughs> Is it working? Okay. We are here today to celebrate World Wetlands Day. But what exactly are we celebrating and what are we talking about? During this celebration, we wish to educate communities and all of you about the importance of wetlands and the need to protect and conserve them. Wetlands provide important hydrological functions such as groundwater recharge, water quality improvement and flood alleviation. It, it is up to each and every one of us to make sure that environment remains clean by doing the following. Getting involved, find out where wetlands exist near your home, try to learn more about them, and support educational efforts. Support wetlands activities of the city. Encourage your friends, neighbors, and business to protect the function and value of wetlands. Learn more about wetlands at your school. Your schools ask your teachers to explain them to you and will listen when they speak. My motto always has been to preserve and conserve. That means what is there, let's look after and don't destroy. Uh, we appreciate this partnership that we have uh, made with SASTA and the Department of Science and Technology because we know that we have got all three people together. Where do dragonflies live? Near water. The butterfly will join the grass. And then we have the butterfly. Where's fish? Okay. But it's a sunburn. Yes, on the Sundays. The water was very dirty. It was Coca Cola, but at Lindy, she was still there. Yeah. Wetlands are a very special kind of area. Wetlands are a kind of aquatic or water biome. Wetlands are often found around lakes, rivers or oceans. But they are in danger. Climate change is causing warmer temperatures which are dry in wetlands. Wetlands and everything living there depend on water to survive. So this is what we do. So we put water in there. And then the water that comes out, how does it look? Clean. Clean. And then I said wetlands are what? Natural? Huh? Natural purifier. We are grateful that they are filters. They clean our precious thing that is called water. They clean for us and all we have to do is to love it and save it and respect it and preserve it.